Hello, a warm welcome, and this is the scene here in North London. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Tottenham Hotspur, and they take on Southampton. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And Spurs will go with this starting 11. Well, I'm intrigued to see how their two midfield players cope in there today because they look very isolated. Yes, they're good athletes and skillful players, but it's asking an awful lot of them. And here's how the lineup looks for Southampton. James Ward Prowse starts with Oriol Romeo in the centre of midfield. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And now they get the ball rolling. And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? So we have an early booking here to report, Stuart. Yeah, I think the referee's absolutely right. He's just making it clear to all the players out there, he's not going to take any messing about here. He's played it short here. Bentancur. Well, they have the ball once more. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. And they're trying to get right into his face. And I think many would agree, Kyung Min Son seems to be at the peak of his powers now. In what way might he contribute today, Stuart? Well, Derek, he's certainly going to be the key player today. Last time out, he scored those two goals, but it was his general play that was... Quite possibly a yellow card, as the flow was stopped. Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy, and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. Long way out, just lacked a bit of conviction and straight into the wall. This is a message for Andy Topham. Walker Peters. Good technique displayed, but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Given away by Tottenham. Bentancur. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Jay Adams how far from the ideal pass you've got to say Bentancur 
and breaking at pace with Menace. Defenders need to cover. And still danger here. But no, the flag is up and it's offside. Romeo. Or Kraus. He's got to score! And a fine stop. <laughs> Over it comes. Bednarek. Kyle Walker-Peters has it. Can they convert? That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. Who can they pick out? Able to deal with the threat. Lord Prowse. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. High pressing at its best. Lord Prowse. El Yunusi. Targets available. Cross comes in. Well, the attack carried promise, but petered out. Lord Prowse. And dispossessed. Kulusevsky. Well, as you can see, it's been really tight, and neither side has taken enough risk going forward. Hopefully that will change soon, and then we might get some entertainment. Well, the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. Playing it in, the end product just wasn't there. And he's beaten him here. Well, he has cause to be grateful to his teammate. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Emerson. Now Dyer. Half-time then, here in the English capital. Well, he's got a few things right in this first half, but not everything. Well, he struggled to have any real impact on the game. I think if they are to kick on in the second half, it's key that he sees a bit more of the ball, and hopefully with that, he can start to put that back line under a bit more pressure. And now they get the ball rolling. So we have an early booking here to report. Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clear. Kyle Walker-Peters has it. Can they convert? Takes it on. How did he manage to reach that? Hugo Lloris. The two teams have switched around. 
and are ready now for the second half. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. Not messing around with that clearance. That's how to dispossess your opponent. Just made sure nothing came of that. Well, no stopping him. He takes aim. And still danger here. And he clears it out of harm's way. Bentancourt determined defending has a go nicely saved well this is a big moment and don't these fans know it Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Number 27, Lucas Mora. Substitution for Southampton. Coming off the pitch, number 10, G. Adams. Who can he pick out? And the danger is aversive. Is it going to be Lucas? Opportunity missed. So half an hour remaining. Succeeded in keeping it in play. Wonderful challenge and a throw-in coming up. Bednarek. Mohamed Salisu. And Spurs doing well to win it back. Well, no surprise there. The hosts have enjoyed most of the possession, but it's been a frustrating performance from them so far. They just haven't had enough guile in the final third. It's all been a bit too predictable, which has to change if they want to win this one. Well, he could really get at the opposition. Armstrong. Can he finish? Terrific save. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, it has come to nothing. Armstrong. And space for the cross. To take the lead. Full credit. Wonderful stop. And relief as the keeper holds on. Well, he reacts so quickly, doesn't he? That's a great bit of work from him. minutes left for play Son might be able to get in behind the defence Fabier and having already received a yellow card he's walking a very fine line and it is a second yellow he's off well you could sense it coming couldn't you it's a really silly challenge
Well, here it is again, and that touch to the side is just big enough to take the ball out of play and open up the goal, but it's still a very good finish. A really well-worked free kick. Time for a change then. a big moment in the dying embers will it prove decisive here well that's a really good authoritative tackle throw in here well approaching full time in this one it's been fiercely contested and Spurs with bad challenge and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next but I think he knew that was coming. Yellow card it is. Well, that was always going to happen. He needs to control himself now, otherwise it could get worse. We might very well have late excitement here. Five minutes to go, and just one goal between them. Went in strongly, decisively. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. A chance to whip it in. Well, that's how to dispossess your opponent. Well, wait, don't go anywhere. We're going to have five additional minutes. Now still pressing for a goal here. Ward Prowse. And Foxing the... Might be a chance here. And smacked against the crossbar. Goal kick here. And Tottenham struggling to keep the ball. And with that, the referee says that is the end of the match. And Spurs victorious. Their fans are going to be happy with this. Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends. But they probably just about edged it overall and deserve the result in the end.